Since sometimes it's hard to see what I'm doing in the speed animating videos, since they're sped up, I thought I would add some commentary for a change. So as you can see, we have a bald and wingless Rainbow Dash. So she's flying at a front angle, which is why we can't see her hind legs or her butt or her tail, because it's all behind her. So I have her body drawn out already. So now we just need to make her flap her wings and make her mane blow around in the breeze and her ears too. I already have the wing flapping. I have a lot of My Little Pony, French of His Magic animation cycles set up for myself here. We got the walking one, the trot, the run, the trot at a front angle. Here's the wing flapping one. Here's what the entire wing beat wing flapping cycle looks like. It's 16 frames, oh, 14 frames, whoops, my bad. It's 14 frames all together. Now since she is in a hurry right now, it's going to be eight frames. She's gonna be flapping her wing faster than that. Now what we're going to have is one, two, three, four, five, seven, 10, 11 eight frames. So this is what our wing flapping cycle is going to look like. I already got the frames I need right here. Now we're going to do her wings first before we put her wings on her. Her wings are, I mean her ears are going to be flapping in the breeze. Now we want it to be four frames. Since we want this to be a cycle, we want it to fit in the eight frames that we're going to have. So we already got one frame with her ears. Maybe three more. Yeah, it's gonna be tough with their eyelashes in the way. But we can fix that. We'll fix that later. And now, so we don't have to do it again for the other ear, we're gonna select it and hit control, hold control, then move it. There's a duplicate. We're gonna flip it. Get rid of this. It's just, uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, we use a different color so we could uh, erase the outline of the previous frame. And save this as a different frame. Let's say 9, I mean, yeah, 930. Erase the colors. Select all, copy. Open the previous frame. Don't save it like that. Then we're gonna color the outlines to this frame a different color. Paste the other frame over this so that we know what we're doing for the frames in between. I want to, this is gonna be the third frame. And then there's one more frame after that. And don't worry about the eyelash. And the race, the purple, and the orange. I'm gonna save this as 931. 929, do not save it as that. 929 is the one where her ears are all the way down. Oops. Erase the green, erase the orange, and we have 932. Now we can fix the eyelash and the eyes. And to protect the, the whites of the eyes, we're gonna change them to a different color real quick. And erase the ears and the outlines in her head. We don't have to erase her arms because they stay the same. Select all, copy, 930, do not say it like that. We are actually gonna keep her eyes like that to protect them from the wings since the white of her eyes is the same color as the background color and white is our default background color. Uh, 931. 932. And 929. We're gonna also change her eyes. So let's see what this looks like so far. We're just gonna, we're, we're worrying about her ears right now. Oops, I forgot to color her head. The reason why I left a gap right there, it makes things easier when we put in her mane. So we don't have to make a gap every time we put her mane in, because her mane goes like that. And we would have to keep making a gap. This is the frame rate. Forward 
centiseconds? No. Oh, okay. It was. It was four centiseconds. <laughs> yeah, it looks funny. It'll look better when we finish everything else. We should actually rename all of these. So first, this 20, actually no, we don't have to rename 29. It's already in first place. 31. And then 30, 34, and then 32. Just wanted to be in order. Usually I don't worry about this, but since we have other stuff to put in these frames, we want them to be in order and not scrambled. Now we can do her wings. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a little something on the side. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be a line, it could be a dot. And I'm gonna save it. What I'm gonna do next is remove this Select all copy, and then I'm going to open the other frames. And no, I'm not going to save it like that without the wing. See, it's still there with the little line. So we're going to open the other frames and paste the little line on all of them. Uh, I have transparent selection checked. If it wasn't checked, it would include the background color. 929C. So I'm pasting the little line on all of them and saving them like that. 29 E, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. And the reason why it looks messy at the ends there is because we're not going to be seeing the ends. Rainbow Dash's body is going to be blocking that part, which is why I didn't bother. And what we're going to do with that little line, that little line is for making, making sure everything is in the right spot. So we're gonna take the first frame here, copy it, and then open the frame with Rainbow Dash's body. And we're not actually gonna put it there just yet. We're just getting an idea of where it's supposed to be. Now the wing is connected to her side, the shoulder area, which is, uh, let's say right here. And she has two wings, of course, so we're gonna hold control, click this and move it, and it duplicates. We're gonna flip it around. We're gonna light it up here. That looks about right. This is where the lines are gonna be. Now what I'm doing here is setting the lines in their place. Get rid of this, select all, copy, and reopen this. Do not save, do not save, and paste it, and then save it. It's little lines. We're also gonna do the same to the other frames with Rainbow Dash's body. With her ears moving and whatnot. So now we can attach her wings. Copy. Paste. And see, look, we can line them up. And all the wing frames are gonna be set in the right spot now, since we copied and pasted the little line on all of them. Now we got them set up. And to compare, to make sure it's in the perfect spot, you can undo and redo. Now what are we gonna do about this? Her wings are not on her face. Undo, select all, copy, and then redo, control Y, and paste. We copied her body and pasted it over her wings. We're not gonna save the frame like this because we're gonna need 29 again because her ears flap up and down twice in one flap, which is eight frames. And her ear movement is four frames, so her ears are gonna flap up and down twice. Let's see if this is 940. Next wing frame and paste it to what comes after 29 which is uh, 33 and line it up and see if her eyes were still white the wing would, sh would still show through there that's why we made her eyes purple undo Select all, copy, redo, paste. Save this as 941. 
So that's the first one we did was 940. Next is this frame. We're going to open 934. I'm using the arrow keys to move it around one pixel at a time. 942. Actually, we're going to do it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 instead of 0, 1, 2, 3. Just makes it easier for me to remember which frame is which. Now we're going on the fourth frame. 935. Nine forty-four. So now we're gonna go back to nine twenty-nine in the next frame, because the ear movement is repeating. Now they flap up and down twice, and one wing flap. The fifth frame of the wing flap, which is this nine twenty-nine. Nine forty-five. Three more frames left. Up next is this frame. Nine forty six. All right, two more frames, and then we're done with the wing flap. <gasps> Excuse me. 9.47. One more. 9.48. Now let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Maybe we could change the eyes back now. And I'm right clicking because that's what you can do with color too. Four centi seconds. And loop these ones to see what it looks like. Her ears are moving, her wings are flapping. Looking good. So next is her mane. I think it's safe to get rid of those little lines too. Now if she was going to change from this position, I would keep the lines there, but in this little scene, she's uh, staying like this for a few seconds before it cuts to the next part. So I think it's safe to get rid of the little lines. Now since the wings are where they're supposed to be now, they're on Rainbow's body where they belong. We're going to get rid of these now. I have these in another folder. And if I'm not mistaken, we can also get rid of these. We're all nice and organized here. So next step is her mane. Now what I've noticed in my time of watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, when the ponies run, the top of their mane goes in circles. Sometimes at least when their head is facing forward. And that's how I was able to do this by myself with no reference, the tail and the mane. See how they move in circles. And I've been drawing Rainbow Dash for a long time now. I've been drawing ponies for a long time now. I've been really familiar with uh, the style and the body structure of the ponies and the facial expressions they would make. And I'm proud to say I did not use, um, well, I did use reference but for the shape of the head. I'm still struggling with that. There is a specific shape that their heads need to be in. A very specific shape. When they're not making any weird stretchy facial expressions anyway. So that's why I still use reference for the head. But not for the face or the ears even, just the dome or whatever you call it. So anyway, usually the shape of her mane is like this. See, I can't draw with a mouse anymore. This one isn't right. The sensor thing is not in the center. It's on the side. This is where <laughs> somewhat what her mane looks like. But the wind is tampering with it. So 
we can kind of do what we want with it. Now she's got a strand of two strands of hair that stick out on the top and one little strand on the bottom. It doesn't look too big. It might be too small. I think it looks okay. We're gonna work on the hair by itself. Looks like we have no 30s anymore, so we're gonna go back to 30. 30, one. And the top of her mane only has her red, orange, and yellow colors. We are actually not gonna color in the colors just yet because they don't have outlines and we need outlines to animate. So we're gonna save it like this. And this is what I do now for keyframing. When I color in the outlines all in one color, I save it as its own frame. So we're gonna call this 931B. I'm gonna make her mane move in a circle. And there are eight frames. These are gonna be the keyframes. We're gonna do a diamond first. One up, one that's off to the left, one that's down, one to the right. And then when we work in between, in cases like these, you can forget what I said in that one tutorial where you, can, where you have to be exactly in the middle. Because if we worked exactly in the middle, it would look like this. It would be a perfect diamond. Which one of these does this frame look like it could be? Let's say the top one. So we're gonna go off to the left here. since the orange, the orange is in the middle, that's kind of in control of these outlines here. And cover up the trap, tiny pixels, that's something I like to do. Get rid of all this purple. We're gonna save this one. Now since there's gonna be one more frame in between the frames we just worked with, we're gonna save this as 33. 33B. Now we're going to go to the bottom point of the diamond. So it's gonna go right but also a little bit down. Okay, now erase all this red, this maroon, maroon red, and this is gonna be 35, 935. This is gonna be 935B. Now we're gonna do the right point. Now we're gonna go back up. Actually, what we're gonna do here. We're gonna open the left, cause we're uh, coming back up to this level.
rid of all this red again. This is going to be 937. 937B. Okay, so far so good. Now we got to work in between them. 931B. Select all copy. And 933. And this one is going to be 932. Instead of doing this, we're going to go up here. Next is uh, 933 and 935, and this one's going to be 934. We're working with lefty and downy. We're not going to do this, we're going to do this. Now 935 and 937, and we're going to do it like this, uh, excuse me. One more, 937 and 931, and this time we're going to go like this. Fix that right there, that frame. Which one is that? 131. Actually, 130. I mean, I mean 38. Scoot this line over. Hey, kitty. Why do you gotta do this? Why do you gotta climb on the desk? It's rude. No, no, no. Not now. Ow. <sighs> I swear I didn't do this. He climbed in like this. Climbed in my arms. It looks a tiny bit off, but it doesn't look too noticeable. So we can color this in now. Orange, yellow, red. I know how sometimes you see the red on the bottom, but I hate how Rainbow Dash's mane works. I notice when she turns her head, if the yellow's on the bottom, and she turns her head, the red is suddenly on the bottom. That's not how hair works. It's uh, it's supposed to move like this. E, 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 not flip itself over when you turn your head. That's not how it works. That's why I make her mane look like this when she turns her head. In my opinion, it looks better that way because it makes more sense. See, her hair is so confusing in the show. So this is what I think the top of her mane really looks like when it's faced this way. Now we copy and paste them on rainbow. Just in case I change my mind. Yeah. We are gonna make a new set. So we're gonna go 51. Oh. 
943, 9.56 Now, let's see what this looks like. Voila! Now we can get rid of all of this. Since this looks good, actually, I'm gonna add her hind legs. Just let me see here. They're barely poking out because they're way up here. This is her foot. It's just barely picking out from behind her. Alright, that looks good. Actually, the thing about that is the wings are still gonna be in front. Yeah, let's see here. Transparent selection. Save. 953. Yeah, see. Skip that. We will skip that too. Save that. Save that. Save that. 958. We're gonna. Copy. Okay, so we'll fifty-four. Fifty-four, fifty-four. Alright, alright, cool. Nine fifty-four. And now we take nine fifty-three. Erase erase this part that has the wings and mane. And everything that moves. All of this is overlapping. All of this, except for the white, is overlapping. And this was 953. Now let's see what it looks like. I made Rainbow Dash Fly in Microsoft Paint. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Oh, and Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve now, where I'm at. Merry Christmas.